I'm going to talk about some stuff here, you know, controversial or not, I'm just going to do it. I made a video before and tried to use my InShot, but I don't think I got enough memory. My bad. In the meantime, uh, there's the fucking camera on the left of the goddamn phone. That means nothing, but somebody out there, there's a de design niche to be filled there. Just uh, look towards the middle of your screen and uh, it'll look like you're looking straight out the what the fuck you are. Otherwise, you're one of those people that... Like some people do, and it's not a big deal, but like Ryan Leone will do it, he'll look off camera slightly because he's not looking directly at the camera or he thinks he's looking at the camera or something. Same with some other people I know that are YouTubers, they do the same thing. I do it even uh, because I forget, you know, it's, it's uh, convoluting to have to look to the left when you're trying to focus on the fucking front of the phone, right? So every now and then you'll see my eyes go from this to that, but you'll know. You know, either way, I'm fucking trying to look to the left of the screen to make it look like I'm looking straight at the screen. So if Joe Biden was going to be truthful to us all, the first thing he would, you know, I mean dead truthful, he'd say, uh, all you have to do in life is act like you're a white guy that hates white people and you'll come off uh, on the side of the Jewish people and then you'll just win, win, win. You'll have money in your pocket. Okay, but he's not going to say any of that, and he's going to act as plastic as possible, robotic as possible, like he can't answer a question that's valid, because it's uh, possibly to the kind of designer robot that he is, um, you know, he's, uh, as a Manchurian candidate, he has to follow through with his mission, which is to absolutely try to ignore issues that are actually potent, like biological chemical warfare! Fuck that bat, whether it came out of a bat or not, it's fucking, this is not a natural thing. It's biological warfare, and in the original one that I read, which was about 40 pages, uh, Biological Warfare's Act or something like that, Biological and Chemical Warfare Act of, uh, I think 1978 was the original one that I read, or maybe around then, and then there's one that was made and drafted up in 2001 provision. I don't know how big that is, but uh, evidently they don't even have to show or name themselves uh, when it's come out that there's, well, who knows, whatever they sprayed caused cancer or whatnot. They don't even have to tell you or cause a, a dead people. Uh, they don't even have to answer you. Uh, they're at some weird clearance level where they can basically pass provisions now, or they have been able to for a long time, which absolutely subvert the uh, authority of what we thought was the control mechanism, which was our Constitution. So... Uh, Whatever that is, that's part of the military industrial complex as well. So you got to realize, at any time, the National Guard, even the military, can turn on its own family to some degree. If they don't, they sign it to bottom line. They still have to go to war. If it's you that becomes the enemy, then, well, if they can hopefully do it in a relaxed way, that is, hey, just be patient, everything will be all right. In the meantime, get over in that cage. Um, that's what they'll do. Now, if people don't believe me, you just uh, check it, you know, check into it. You know, um, you know, I mean, just. Look, I don't look up links and everything, but I'm pretty sure the German uh, royalty is uh, somehow linked. And, and definitely there is some proof that even uh, the royal family in uh, the UK is, is of German descent. And the same goes for Saudi Arabians. Uh, a lot of them, the Saudi Arabians are Jewish, mixed with Jewish people. They were, you know, infiltrated way back, probably be, uh, like in World War One, even, I think. Um, so anyway, I, you know, even back then they knew they were going to need oil, so they started sending out agents all over the place, uh, especially uh, Jewish people because they're after money all the time. They're the biggest mob on the planet, and they could probably do something like 911, and you wouldn't even know it for years and years and years and years and years. Maybe it wouldn't even be discovered that it was possibly had to do with just the Jewish people and themselves because, you know, they, uh, you know, are engaged in every kind of uh, fraudulent activity. Uh, however, they are not violent, so they don't attract a lot of publicity. How about that? They could probably take you and st uh, strong arm America, get away with it, and get uh, a lot of people in different countries on board with them because uh, the direction, the, the focal point is, hey, you guys blew off nukes. We get to do this now. So um, that's what their focal point is. Look, look what we can do behind it. Look, Jewish people are very unfriendly uh, when it comes to uh, uh, warfare. Okay, just look at they blew up the U.S. Liberty in 1968, uh, blow a hole in it and killed a bunch of our sailors and shit. Okay, what did they say? They didn't even have a ex fucking excuse or they were like, oops, sorry. I swear to fucking God. Okay, why don't I get to hate some motherfuckers? Okay, now I doesn't mean I hate the Jewish people. I'm just saying their power structure, the people behind your shot calling and especially their fucking military assholes. All right.
at least the Israeli military is fucking bunch of assholes. They fucking do covert shit all the time and then complain about our covert shit. They're always like fighting me like they're not white or special because they're privileged because they're Jewish. Because supposedly Jesus Christ was, which actually I, I don't even think uh, they know the meaning of uh, what the deal is. What, what I think happened was uh, Jesus was a terraformer. He got, uh, uh, everyone knew it, but at the time they tried to change it up. So they were scared of people in certain things and directions of thought. And even back then, they brainwashed the people, primitive peoples. They made them believe that Jesus was this external, ordinary figure. Okay, Jesus was, to a certain degree. I mean, he had technology like a microwave signal that goes to, uh, you know, uh, intelligence outside of himself from his head. Like uh, technology, like, uh, you know, if you want to call it, uh, a lot of people refer to it uh, transhumanism. But it's really actually something that's normal as a progression. Because eventually the human body can't take it in this uh, this space and stuff. There's too much radiation. Various things happen. So eventually transhuman is not, not that I want to jump into it, but I, I, I laugh it off, you know, being a cyborg and shit. It's like, well, yeah, at some point we're going to have to because the human population can't breed at some point. Uh, eventually we're going to lose the capability to breed. Um, it's already proven that, uh, you know, and I don't necessarily believe, uh, believe academics lie about everything. Uh, I do believe that's the case. You know, our XY chromosomes are getting muttered by fucking various genetic defaults, propaganda, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, supposed COVID when it's biological warfare, shit like that. You know, eventually if they want, they can just kill off a bunch of the weak immune systems and then they have a small population of strong immune systems to keep the planet running. Every now and then, even like the shit on the bottom of a fish tank, you got to clean the fucking, not just the shit. Okay, that's just a, a metaphor. But the truth is, hey, you, every now and then you got to trim the fucking uh, whatever. The fur on the dog maybe even needs grooming. Uh, eventually something got to get, uh, if, if, you know, if it's an autopsy, they got to shave the fur off the dog. I mean, uh, you know, or a human being, uh, they, I guess, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? It's just like, eventually. And, uh, you know, fucking getting notifications on this goddamn loudspeaker kind of interrupts me. But anyway, so uh, Joe Biden, yeah, if he it really could just be 100% truthful, he'd say, oh, man, bro, all you have to do, bro, is just fucking hate white people and act like you're a separatist from white people. And you'll get money in your bank. All of a sudden, you'll have George Soros knocking on your door going, hey, I got fucking shit, a load of checks for you. I emailed you. Didn't you answer them? He said, oh, how many checks? Like, five. Really? Well, how big? Very large. You did a good job. I liked your talk. Keep it up, man. I just made a personal visit because I felt like it and have a good day. There you go. Oh, by the way, Black Lives Matter, I got some new signs printed up for them. I made up, um, you know, the, the verses myself. Well, you, you can't wait to get them out. Wait till you see them, though. They're really cool. And, you know, of course, the interest behind these people, you know, that it is close to Star Wars. It is close to Star Wars. I mean, Yes, I, I mean, I believe evil can be a force, but it's only within this lifetime period, this linear time, which makes it really a weak force. Um, so, but, you know, within that confines of the linear time, I mean, yeah, sure, it can be linear time enforced uh, discord, but it doesn't really affect the overall outcome of life and growth. Evil is a defect by nature, and it doesn't really progress like it, they are fooled to believe it progresses when it really does not. That's the key to understanding some of the things. And not to be always paranoid of the next uh, thing around the corner. Like, if somebody told me I need a new heart, I'd get it. It wouldn't mean about transhumanism. If somebody told me I had to do this, uh, probably because I'm going to die, yeah, I probably would, you know, take the opportunity not to die first. Okay, like somebody had told, I was arguing with somebody about, you know, abortion. Not arguing, I was talking. I was just having a good conversation with another person. They didn't believe what I did. They believed in abortion. I said, well... Uh, you know, I it's, look, if you understand why I don't like abortion, maybe you'll understand me a little better. Uh, I was born dead, and I was dead for 15 minutes, and uh, they were struggling to get me. They were going to pass me on and just say, fuck it, he died. But the nurse said, no, don't, or some shit. Uh, you know, the nurse knew my mom and tried to get me alive anyway, because she was like, I know the mom, please, doctor, give him extra time. And they did. They, I guess that they're... You know, I guess they're allowed to do that. Um, maybe not. I don't know. But, yeah, I think they worked on me so long. They were like, man, this 